Hello, and welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 45. Here we are with our next build. Um, I mean, nothing's too different. I mean, the builds are... I'm pretty much always going to use this sword. Um, and these three um, spell items. I'm just going to try to change up the armor each time. Um, this set is some sort of... Um, we're back to mid-rolling. This is some sort of, like... Uh, I guess... Tank mom? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we're using the Mask of the Mom. Um, which is one of those cool um, uh, pinwheel masks. Uh, this one gives you a little bit of extra health. The father will give you a little bit of extra um, equipment load. And then there's one more, the sun mask, which will give you faster stamina regen. Um, but yeah, today we're going with the mother, sort of go with our tank set. We got a little bit of a strategy um, that we're going to try. So we got Tranquil Walk of Peace and Chaos Storm. And uh, this can be for, we're going to the church today. Uh, this can be for the part where there's all those hollows in the channeler. The, the plan is we're going to Tranquil Walk of Peace to slow everyone down. And then we can use Chaos Storm to just clean them all up when they can't move. So <laughs> we're going to see how well that combo goes. Um, I think that's also just turn human because why not? And then, uh, yeah, we're actually not going to fight the Gargoyles. We're just going to go in free Laurentius and then go say hi to him down below and then go from there. So let's uh, start working our way up. Uh, first, let me demonstrate how this will work. Um, I've never actually used this, so I don't... This could just be a PvP spell, which would be kind of lame. But let's see how well it works up here. I think the way... We don't have to cast it near them. It's just that when we do cast it, I think everything around us... Let's see if we get that symbol under our stamina bar. So now... I think uh, they're going slower. It's already over. Well, <laughs> okay, let's, let's try this one more time. I feel like they're moving as fast as they were before. But like, you can definitely see the effect is. Oh, wow, it's already over. So, um, <laughs> that's kind of lame. Uh, wait, oh, actually, if I have the lingering dragon crest ring, I think I can. That maybe. Can't change equipment when I'm in the middle of a backstab. Interesting and good to know. Uh, so do I? Did I ever get that ring? I think you have to buy it, and I don't think I did. No. Nope. All right. Never mind. Um, that probably would have helped here. Um, that's a ring that'll just increase the duration of spells that have a time limit. Um, that being one of them. But oh well. Either way, we'll we'll try our best. <laughs> we'll, we'll cast it and then immediately go for the firestorm and see what happens. So yeah, I don't want to get hit by this guy in New Game Plus. But at the same time, we do have much better armor, so let's just... Wow. Yeah, I don't even stagger. So, never mind. If you have good armor, um, you can take some pretty nasty hits. Yeah, if you use, like, literally the best armor in the game, and really, like... And you actually just, like, make some stupid build that just, like, dumps everything into resistance, um, you could probably survive some impressive things. Um, ooh, steel leggings. I put those on. No, I, li I like the skirt. I think it matches the mom build better. Um, so, anyway, one thing that does respawn are the Firekeeper Souls. And that does mean we can continue to upgrade through uh, New Game Plus, uh, which is going to come in very handy. Um, it does mean. Oh, I did forget to get the one back in the Londo. So, we'll get that when we go back down. Came out. Very advantageous position there. Alright, so. Let's uh, cast the spell, get ready, let's Firestorm, and let's go. Okay, I think uh, that was a success. <laughs> we got the channeler. Um, okay, well, we didn't get everyone, so it's, we didn't quite get 100, but we got like a 90, I'd say. Either way, like, you know what? It prevented the panic and the insane. Well, I'm still kind of panicking. Uh, it, pre it prevented the swarm and the panic, so I would actually say that pretty well. <laughs> um, and we got most of them. So, um, very nice. Take that. Channelers and hollows. Uh, anyway, we're not going up. We're not fighting the gargoyles yet. We're actually. Okay, so the plan is I want to kill Quaylog first. And then kill the gargoyles, that way we can kind of just like stroll on down the Great Descent's Fortress. Um, I was just trying to mix things up, you know, last time we got, we got 
the gargoyles first and then went down, so this time we're going to do the opposite. Uh, you know what? I don't even care about walking over there and watching the animation. Always kick the wood down. It's so satisfying. There's only like two spots in the game where you can kick wood. Oh, still human. So, again, he's just going to say the same stuff. Like, ooh, help me. I'm not suspicious at all. Thank you. I, I... So, yeah, now he's like... Yes, I... No need to talk to him. He's going to wait for us down the Firelink Shrine, which is our next stop. And uh, we're going to go this way back down. And I don't think there's... We'll go down to Firelink, and then... That's pretty much it, yeah. Let's go here. Oh, ow. Okay, okay, this is bad. Okay, that's one. That's two. And three, okay. Well. <laughs> Did not expect them to just immediately stab me after falling. But we improvised and it's bad, so we're good. Um, so yeah, let's make our way down. Uh -huh. Yeah, we're gonna stop to New Londo as well. I'm wondering if. Just sort of thinking how I want to approach this. Um, I'm go here. Just, just, yeah, we're trying to be efficient. That's like the general theme of this second playthrough is that we want to do things efficiently. Which means on the way down, we're going to take that opportunity to come and get this key. That way we don't have to just take the elevator just to get the key. Um, so let's make our way down. And you know what, speaking of efficiency, um, I definitely did not get this on purpose when I was first down here, just to pick it up now. <laughs> uh, let's see. So we're back here. Now, I don't want to do that just yet. What I want to do is come down here. So at this point, right, like I I left him alive originally because we I wanted to show the whole quest of saving the apartment of, um, the apartment, so the maiden. But this time we don't need to do that. So. If it's early game, right, uh, this is how I'd recommend you do this. Or if you're just doing a playthrough where you're you're minimizing risk, you want to just get your equipment. You want to get the Ring of Favor and Protection that he has. But you're really lo low level and you don't feel like fighting him. What you can do is literally, NPCs don't aggro when you kick them. Um, they get up and they pull out their weapons and then they'll stand there. But he's not actually angry at me yet. So um, the way you can exploit this is that you just give him another kick and down he goes. <laughs> and now he's dead. Now you'll notice his body's down there, and so is the ring, right? Um, well, all you have to do is quit and reload, and it will um, bring the body back up. Um, not the body, but uh, the item at least. So now if we turn around right here, we get our humanity and our ring of favor and protection, and no Latrek to kill our precious hand who will not be able to talk. So <laughs> we're going to reinforce our Estus Flask. Now plus five. And um, we go around and down and grab the one in New Londo real quick. Uh, we are going to be doing New Londo much earlier as well, I will say. We're not doing it just yet, but we are going to be doing it very soon. Make our way down. Down, down. Uh, okay, we're going to want to take the elevator up, right? Because I didn't rest at the Firelink Shrine bonfire on purpose, because like once we're done with the business here, I want to just teleport back. And, okay, tell you what, and I just realized normally when you do this, right, we uh, we go and we just jump off after getting the Firekeeper soul. But since uh, I don't feel like just killing myself, um, we are going to just go ahead and use the Transient Curse. Okay, grab that. And we'll make our way over to the ghosts. We may as well use it now because this will actually last a long time. Now everything gets reset. All the water, all the ghosts, all of our efforts in the last game were for nothing. Okay. Oh, well. It's gonna take two hits to kill these things. And now, 
thinking just still a run towards it and then we'll fight them here. Grab it just in case we die. That way we don't have to come back down. But I will have to come back down if I die to get the souls. Okay, if y'all can come in just a little closer. got some more transient curses. So, huge success. Uh, right, and now we want to walk our way back out. And, you know what? I, I don't know if I've ever walked out of New Mondo, <laughs> now that I think about it. Uh, at least, like, from this part, right? Like, we've, we've returned to Firelink Shrine from Light Town, but, like, me personally, I don't think I've ever, like, walked past this bridge in the opposite direction. So... It's just moments like these when you realize, like, huh, this is a new angle, right? Because, like, literally, like, to a certain degree, this image is kind of, like, burned in my memory, but, like, this image is not. Does that make sense? Am I, am I saying weird things now? <laughs> Probably am. Let's kill this ghost, but we can't because that's just an image of a player. Um, do I want another S-Stock? I don't think I do. Let's see, are there any other weapons I want to showcase? Um, I might use some more Black Knight weapons. Uh, like, we didn't use a Black Knight Axe. That could be fun to use, actually. Uh, what else is there? Maybe some boss weapons. Um, oh, why am I here? That's not where I want to go. Maybe some boss weapons to showcase. Uh, like, an Ornstein Spear is pretty cool, and I think we're going to have stats that can use it. Uh, maybe, actually, we might not. <laughs> but uh, either way, I'm sure we can use some weapons. Um, but yeah, we got to get back to the giant in Anorlanda before we can do any boss weapons. Of course, did not think to craft any before starting New Game Plus. Honestly, the day when I did that uh, New Game Plus recording, I mean, the day that I fought Gwyn, it was kind of like at the end of like a bunch of other recordings, and I was like, you know what, I just want to I just wanna finish it, just get done. Then I realized, like, oh shoot, wait, I need to do all this backup stuff, technically, but I didn't really need to, so I just said, screw it, do it next <laughs> New Game Plus, but... Either way, um, I think we're fine. Um, also, I think let's just fight him now, because why not? Remember, we're, the, we're the bad boy this time. I wonder if we can chain Sean back. Let's see. He's got a nice little monologue there. <laughs> Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I think you've done me a favor. Alright, cool. So, I didn't just kill him just to be an asshole. <laughs> um, as you saw, he did give us some unique dialogue for killing him, as opposed to if we let him go hollow, and he doesn't say anything down in New Londo. So, you know, I figure if he's gonna die eventually anyway, we may as well kill him now. But, um, anyway. Let's, uh, let's head on back up now. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I don't want to go up here. I want to go upgrade my SS class. That's what I want to do. Um, we're almost actually done, because I think plus 7 is the most you can get it to. Uh, one trick you can do, by the way, which was part of what I forgot to do that I was just talking about, is that right before you fight Gwyn, you go around and you kill all the Firekeepers that you can. <laughs> and then, because uh, they actually do drop Firekeeper souls that you can use to upgrade. Um, the main ones to kill are the one in Anorlando and the Fair Lady. Um, Quailana's sister. But you can't actually kill this one because uh, she's behind the cage. Um, oh, but you can, if you do Laurentius's, uh, or no, Latrec's quest, and then get her soul, if you bring it to another Firekeeper to upgrade instead of bringing it here, you actually can use it that way. Um, but the thing is, like I said, you, you get them all in New Game Plus again anyway, so it's not too necessary to do that. Like... I would never use her soul because Fire Link Shrine is a very handy. Okay, wait, what am I doing? What am I, doing? I specifically did all this Homer Bone deck. Okay, yes. So, um, yeah, the Fire Link Shrine bonfire, that's always worth keeping, I would say. Um, okay, so we got our up as to speed, did our business in the church. Now we want to go to Darko Garden. So let's see if we can kill the butterfly. Uh, we'll call it an episode after that. Um, oh, also, um, before we fight him, let's uh, change up our spells. Um, our Chaos Storm Tranquil Walk of Peace. It's probably not going to be too relevant here. 
Uh, so what can we use? How about... Probably gonna want some magic or some projectiles for the Moonlight Butterfly. So, I mean, lightning spears are pretty obvious. Soul arrow, but soul arrow on its own. Kinda sucks with them. Let's see here. Dark orb might be cool. Uh, ooh, dark beat. Let's try that. Speed, speed dark magician today. Uh, let's see. What does this require? It requires the catalyst. So dark beat is like a shotgun and then dark orb. Ooh, okay, that's gonna come in handy. Alrighty, I like it. I like it. Um, now, ooh, the question is so I'm definitely not gonna summon Beatrice, right? But, you know, this being New Game Plus, challenges, and, and all that. I don't know if uh, I should fight the butterfly completely with just a melee weapon. Because that is a type of pain <laughs> I don't know if I want to go through. Oh god, these guys are going to be hard to kill. Oh god. Oh god. Wow. Okay, so maybe try to get our skulls back first. Use dark orb from a distance. Okay, so it doesn't do too much, but oh my god! Just give me my souls. <laughs> Just give me my souls. Okay, I have magic too. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, let's, let's fight him with magic. Too. Oh wow, that does a lot. And like only two of them hit. That's right, no wonder this spell is like a meme. <laughs> there's a, there's apparently, it's possible to uh, get dark bead very early if you like half glitch the game. Um, there's like this cool video on YouTube where like how to be OP really early. Um, and he talks about how you rush to Ulysseal. And then the thing is like, without actually having to fight, um, some of the hard bosses. You can, um, sorry, I'm like half talking here because I'm trying to focus, but if you like glitch down an elevator, you can get down into the abyss without having to fight Artorius. And uh, which means you can do it at a very low level, which means you can, um, you can take your dark beat and go fight people at level one and be toxic online, which is part of why it, um, the PvP in this game is not the best. Because <laughs> uh, the, the sequels would add more systems in place so that, like, you know, you have to make sure you have a similar level of weapon or, like, things like that before you can just match with people. <laughs> um, but no matter what the game is, the early game is always going to have just people just being cheesy because they would rather take shortcuts than improve themselves and become better players. They'd rather just get overpowered equipment and pick on people who don't have their builds ready yet. So I encourage you to not be that type of person. To instead, you know, go for, you know, come up with your build, set up like an end game build, get your whole plan ready and all that. Um, but then, okay, uh, maybe two. Well, they can take three dark orbs. Um, but yeah, take your time, fulfill your build, and then like go do the battle stoicism or something. Uh, speaking of which, that's actually going to be, I think, a good way to uh, showcase some PvP. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to rush here because we're approaching the end. I think we can, if we, if I hurry along, I think we can get to the butterfly. And if I skip some loot that we don't really need. Um, okay, we are definitely going to want this bonfire. So let's do that. Uh, but yeah, I think Dark Orb will come in handy. Um, I think I still will use it because, as you saw, it's not doing a crazy amount of damage. So I don't think 12 Dark Orbs are going to be enough. Just realized. Uh, <laughs> depending on how the battle goes here, um, I may want to uh, switch to a light roll. I think 
we can skip that whole side area as well because again it's just it's really just a wolf ring that you get and uh, we already have the wolf ring um, I mean I know there's some other things you can get but um, nothing that we care about so yeah, well, there's the elite knight armor but um, you know then we get popped up with an ambush and I'd rather them not chase me here but yeah the moonlight butterfly since there's so much projectiles you gotta just dodge um, it's one of those bosses that, like, if I am going to fight without Beatrice, um, I think it's better to light roll. <laughs> but, like I said, we're doing things tough. And, in theory, it's possible to beat all the bosses when you're fat rolling. So, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so these guys... Oh. Oh, boy, this could be bad. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're quick before they and get most of their health before they get you with Tranquil Walk of Peace, you should be fine. Okay, so let's give this a try here. Um, by the way, you can see the Moonlight Butterfly from up on the castle, and you can actually see that from like the rest of the level. I kind of wish I pointed it out more now. But uh, either way, let's, uh, let's start with some lightning spears, how about that? So we'll let it make the first move. Not too quick throw. No. Okay, not too bad. Alright, tell you what. Um, okay, I think I am gonna have to not just wait for the melee here. Ooh, okay. Alright, very nice. Try a dark bead, maybe. Actually, I kind of want to save that for when we go down. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Dark bead right to the face. Oh wait, I just realized these resist magic. <laughs> okay, let's back up. Okay, we're we're doing pretty good so far. Um, definitely could have gotten more hits in. Let's get rid of our lightning spears here and see what's left after that. Whoa! Okay, I'm worried that that's going to be able to one-shot us here. Let's make sure to stay on top of our health. One more? Okay. Oh boy, we got lucky there. And just like that, the butterfly goes down. So yeah, I mean, I could have restricted myself to no projectiles. And then it could have been a little harder, but... Honestly, we were doing pretty good damage when it did land. And we were smacking it with our sword that... We probably could have just killed it in two hits anyway, so... Um, I mean, guys, if I upset you too much for not making it the most challenging thing possible, <laughs> feel free to complain in the comments, but... Um, I think I think it was a pretty good fight. It was, it was as long as it's different, right? Because I didn't just summon Beatrice <laughs> and let her do the fight, so we're at least making progress. Um, but yeah, up here we'll get our reward of the uh, basement key and divine ember, and all that good stuff. Um, now we still do want to press on in dark and Our real goal is not just um, not just all that, but we actually are here because we have to fight Sif early. Um, so let's take our souls and let's actually buy the Covenant of Artorias to sort of wrap things up here. Um, oh, I have to walk back. Oh, that's unfortunate. Should have bought it first. I just realized because I probably I probably even had enough souls. Um, yeah, you know, I'll just do it off camera. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll wrap things up here. Uh, we'll wrap it up right at the door here because this looks pretty. Right. Let's make sure no one's chasing me. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's gonna do it. Um, we uh we got some good progress done. We finished up our Lettrek side quest stuff, and then we even killed the butterfly. And then we're gonna go kill Sif, and then we're gonna show what not getting the cool cutscene <laughs> looks like this time. You might be wondering why why are we killing Sif so early? Well, it's a very important reason for that, and uh, I'll talk more about it once we uh start going down that route more. But either way, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. And um, I hope you had fun watching. I had fun making it, as you know. Yep, forgot to, forgot to say my line last time. I know, I know, but 
can't say it all the time, right? I, I didn't say it in my early episodes, so maybe a few of my later episodes I won't say it. Things will be fine. Won't be the end of the world. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Either way, that's going to do it. Uh, let's pray out and call it a day. Bye-bye.